we'd like to find this product, and to find this product, we use the distributive property. So that's a to the negative 2 thirds power times a raised to power of 5 over 4. Now remember, when the bases are the same and you are multiplying, you add exponents. So this times this will be a raised to a power of that first exponent, negative 2 thirds, plus the second exponent, 5 fourths. And then minus a raised to a power of, I'm multiplying this times this, so it's a raised to a power of negative 2 thirds plus 3. Now how do we add exponents? To add exponents, we need a common denominator. So we will work on each of these separately. What is the common denominator for 3 and 4? It is 12. Now remember, this is a negative exponent. 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 2 is 8, plus 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 times 5 is 15 minus, I'll actually then go ahead and add the exponents on my next step. That's a raised to power. Remember, this is 3 over 1, so the common denominator or least common denominator is 3. That's negative 2 over 3 plus 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. Now let's go ahead and write down our product. This is a raised to a power of, now I can add because the denominators are the same, negative 8 plus 15, that is 7 over 12 minus a raised to a power of, I can add these two fractions because now the denominators are the same, that's negative 2 plus 9, which is 7 over 3. Now, can I subtract these two terms? The answer is no, because these are unlike terms. Although the bases are the same, the exponents are different, so this is my answer.